Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Rava 2. This is a sequel. I haven't played the first one uh, and I don't need to and neither do you. Um, in case you're wondering, I don't think there's much continuity. Um, but the best way to describe this game is it's kind of like Mega Man um, if uh, you didn't have to acquire all the power ups, basically. Um, it has felt very uh, old school in nature. And uh, in, a, in a oh, did I just select like the last level here? Okay, that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, it's an old school platformer, and uh, the the main gimmick here is that I can switch between all these fun little critters. They got they got they all got little different powers, and um, they're all circumstantially useful in different ways, different circumstances. So, um, and I can also upgrade my main wand. I tend to stick to my main wand for a lot of things. But yeah, um, it's, it's very much by the book in a good way. Um, okay, I am, this is the first time I'm using the PS4 controller. I've been having, uh, I will say some, uh, let me see, how, which one is gonna, is this gonna work? Some problems with uh, the, um, with reading my controller, but I did fix it with the uh, the devs help. So it does work. It might mean that you have to turn off. If it's not working for you, you might need to turn off uh, Steam support. But um, yeah, no, it, it totally works. Yo, what do we got going on here? Can we push this? Can I like move this? Oh yeah, we've got like, uh, we got an almost Crash Bandicoot style of uh, of game here where you like ha want to uh you're gonna have to try and break every single block um you're definitely gonna want to get every single gem uh i think i've already missed that one so i can't do anything about that i wonder if i can push it back over with one of these powers doesn't look like it a dang shame oh i turned the gem into something though i don't think i can i don't can i can't double jump this guy here isn't really so, uh, like a power so much as they um, they will reveal secrets and stuff. There's lots of secrets in this game. Oh, okay, hold on. All right, now we can reach it. I got some. That was a. I don't know why. I got, I got really hung up on that on that puzzle. Uh, okay, so one of these is gonna work on this. You will get to to know the powers pretty pretty well um, after a while and and know which which ones work. I, like for instance, I'm pretty sure these work on that. No, never mind. I'm completely wrong about that. It's this guy. I like this guy. He kind of reminds me of the uh, the ghost from uh, Ghostbusters. Slimo. What's his name? I got slime. Oh, this one's go going back and forward. We got we got moving platformers. Moving platforms. I mean, you don't really need to go for every single coin, but like if you want to uh, 100% you're you might want it. Oh, what is this? Oh, right. Okay. We, we turned it into something. And uh, I will say that the bosses so far have felt pretty cool. Um, they're definitely some like the most exciting part because uh, they're like all uh, animated and they all have their own like little personality and stuff. I mean, like I, I won't lie. This is this is a game for youngsters and i say that with love you know like i this is the kind of game i played a lot um when i was a kid i used to play i played a, a really old game on uh on dos called um hocus pocus i've been meaning to play it again it's actually on geo gog it was a really really it actually scared me there was hocus pocus and there was another game called uh, not jeepers creepers but it was like a it's actually an id game um, I think it was an id game or, uh, like the, the, the doom people. I'm trying to remember 3d soft. I don't think so. I think I'm thinking of, um, I can't, I can't remember it, my, 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 old brain is just not what it used to be, I guess. Um, but yeah, we have, I had, I played a lot of old school games just like this one. Um, I'm trying to remember it's really, it's really bugging me now. I don't want to like stop this video to go look at what games this reminds me of, but my brain just doesn't remember things very well. Oh yeah, we've got some pretty cool uh, enemy designs here. This one, I mean, oh, and they they turn they turn around. That's actually pretty clever. Oh, let's uh, we can we can be more clever. This one's a, a good power for like shooting above us. 
this is a pretty good power i like this one and i guess we can like since this one's got gravity we can we can hit it after it turns around i don't know if we can kill this guy it doesn't seem to be dying does he just is he just really hard to kill jump over the moose without getting hit i just got an achievement for that I wonder if there's a um, like a special power that kills him specifically. Okay, well that guy dies, so we know they die. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop going for powers and stuff like uh, and coins and stuff. I'm just gonna play the game. But yeah, you you you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna hit every box. I'm try, I'm, I really am trying really hard. It's it was a id game. It's a very famous one. I'll, all I can remember is uh dope fish is real or dope fish is alive that's all i can remember that's that's how bad my brain is right now all right okay can we i want this whatever this is oh is that just the interface i'm an idiot good lord i'm a dang fool <laughs> okay this is an interesting uh, room we're just like meant to be your mission survive ouch <laughs> i'm gonna die very soon this one, this is a really cool power if you can use it like if there's any enemies like it's great for bosses because um oh god that's that's it for us wow i'm actually i actually died didn't didn't expect that to be on it well this is like oh wow that's brutal we're all the way at back at the beginning here this is like the sixth stage. I guess I uh, I did I didn't realize that it was a non-linear style of level select. So um, that means that I was I I'm, I'm able to accidentally hit uh, select the last stage, which is pretty funny. I guess not technically the last stage, just a stage. Can I do something with that? Turn it into a gem or something? I'm gonna ignore it for now. I just want to like get rolling. I think the only thing I would like, um, I don't know if I would say this is a, an objective improvement, but it's just um, something I'd prefer to see is like uh, the ability to run, because it does feel a little bit sluggish. But I mean, that's it's it's meant to be a, a bit more of a methodical game, I think. Now there's a way to upgrade our, our wand and I would like to do so because it starts out quite weak, but it actually becomes, there it is. There we go. I don't know why I didn't get that last time. All right. Um, I don't know how to get this cherry. I would usually expect it to be like, use the, uh, use the revealing, revealing power. That's the revealing power right there. So I don't really know if we can kill this moose. Oh, I just killed it. Okay. <laughs> what was it? I wonder if it was like... I hit it a lot of times last time and it did not die. Oh, you know what? We can use this one. Yeah, there you go. It's a really good power when you can use it. But yeah, like you start out with all these critters. I, you know, you would expect that uh, in a game like this, you would, you would, uh, you know, you would be expected to go and uh, acquire all of these powers by like defeating a set of bosses. Um, I, I do wonder if maybe in the previous game you you did actually do that and collected all these um, critters, which is actually kind of cool because like if if that's the case, um, generally speaking, in a lot of these games, you like are expected to start over in the sequel and it's like yeah well i mean you got all that cool stuff but now you have to start from scratch so i you know i i, I kind of wouldn't mind trying the first one just to see like contextually um where how do you start in that game where where are you um we want this one there we go to defeat that and we're gonna get a watermelon Ah, there's our checkpoint. That's a pretty brutal checkpoint. This is a lot of stuff we got to do to not die. Okay, you're going to turn around, but then we're going to turn around as well. I wonder if they keep their health. I wonder if I was like very close to killing them.
Okay, wand. Okay, we can't kill that. There we go. All right. Very much learning on the fly here. I'm going to stop trying to kill those these uh bucks. I guess they're moose. It did it did literally say that. I'm going to stop trying to kill a lot of enemies actually. It's just not worth it to me. Oh, we got another wand upgrade. Oh, what? I thought I already upgraded it once. You can upgrade it twice and uh, and then it's that's as good as it gets. But I thought it, w we were going to get to see the level three wand. Ooh, oh God, that's a lot. Oh, when you get hit, it downgrades your wand. Oh, okay. We found a secret. How would we go about getting that, do you think? I wonder if I can, like, manipulate these, uh, crates. So that we can use one of them. Hmm, I don't think so. Not sure how we get that. Can we get, can we use this? No. Alright, we're, I'm gonna, I'm gonna forego the, uh, the secret. You'll have to figure out the secret in your own time. I'm gonna get the cherry at the very least. Um, this guy can disappear. Actually, he doesn't disappear. He turns into something else. Okay, we can we can kill it. Uh, okay. This is getting this is tricky. This is way trickier than I expected it to be. Okay. I would love to just jump on to you can't jump off the ladder. You can only fall off the ladder So I'm gonna have to use this tram Um, I can't get rid of that spike unfortunately Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a nightmare actually How are we gonna do this the the trams are completely out of sync Okay, there we go. There we go. This is it. No, no. Unless I like jumped out of, um, can we like, well, we can't kill it unless we ha use this one and this one, unfortunately. Okay, there we go. Oh no. Oh no, dude. Well, that, well, that was unfortunate. So we got, we got sh checkpointed back. That's fine. Can we like, I wonder if this does anything. No, I'm just wondering like, how do we kill this moose? And it feels like we can't kill it. Uh. Okay, we can kill it. It just takes a lot of hits. Ouch. I can't believe I took it. Hit a damage from that. Ouch. God damn it. All right, never mind. Maybe this game isn't for kids. Although, you know, uh, there's a, there's a, I know a growing movement of, uh, People saying like it, it, it just doesn't seem reasonable to say that X game isn't for kids because it's difficult I played some really difficult games as a kid um, I I personally think that um, Old school there's a there's definitely a space for old school games that are difficult. I also think that we you know, there's room to criticize old games for having kind of draconian um uh methods or or uh, gameplay loops i'm not talking about this one that's that's fine checkpoints i actually think are, are, are a totally valid um way of, of doing things but you know like you know what i'm talking about like those the games that we played where it's like if you died you'd have to start all the way back at the beginning of the game and there was a reason we did that and no matter how i slice it i call that just bad design <laughs> um and I'm, I, I kind of, I'm glad we've, we've moved away from that. Even, even when we have a resurgence of old school games, it's nice that, um, you know, we, we've all kind of agreed that there's, there's some, you know, some flavors of old school gaming that just aren't worth bringing back. They're just not fun. 
Okay, that was that was tricky. We can't we cannot do anything about these spikes. Oh god no. Alright, we're gonna kill this moose. I am I am Canadian, so we do say that uh, on a daily basis. No, I'm kidding. Uh, if anyone's dying in a us versus moose relationship, it is a hundred percent us. Moose moose will mess you up. Very much like these moose, actually. Oh god. Oh no. Alright, let's just go back to killing this moose. Never mind. Alright. Let's do this properly. I'm trying I'm trying my best to figure out which you can't kill these unless they're frozen. Oh. What we should do is freeze it before we get on and then we can get rid of it. There we go. Tricky. Tricky business. Game is tricky business. But yeah, I mean like, you know, I I think that like any kid could play like Contra. I mean, we played Contra. Contra I mean, I, I won't say we played Contra. Uh, we didn't play Contra. I played Contra. <laughs> and like, you know, like, uh, my generation played Contra. <laughs> but like, you know, we didn't, we didn't do that necessarily. And you know, uh, maybe, maybe that's fine. I don't play Contra. Play uh, Bro Force. It's basically the same experience. And maybe even better in some ways. I'm not sure where we're going here. There's a, this is a, a like a hidden maze kind of business. We need to use this to um, find our way around. And then, okay, we can get to the next screen. Cool. That was kind of cool. I like that. Oh! Get to use whenever I get to use my favorite power up, it's a good day. Solid. I'm not sure. I think we have a speed boost, so there, there's your your sprint basically. And I, I think we also are shooting much faster. Oh god, I just got a uh, upgraded our wand and then lost it immediately. You'd think that um, the color of whatever that thing is would represent like what what you need to get it. I wonder. Oh, oh, what? Oh my goodness! I didn't realize we had this. So you can like supercharge your demons for a little while. I wish I'd saved this for the boss. Are they all? They're not all supercharged. It's just this one. Oh god, no, I should have saved it. It's fine. All right, we're at the we're at the boss. Do -do 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 -do. I really like the bosses in this game. They've got so much character. Ow. Come on, appear above me so I can use my favorite power up. You can actually rapid fire uh, the button. I don't know if I can make that jump. I don't think I can. Okay, we can we can do this. I think we yeah, okay. We just need to shoot their projectiles and then um, we're good. Doing my best to give my cramp cramp my heart and my, my hand as hard as possible so that I shoot the most projectiles. Yeah, we got our old we got our one two punch. This is great. Our wand is like I say the best weapon in the oh in the game. We just needed to not take damage at every turn and corner so that I could have maintained a level three wand. 
I will say it's it's quite the design choice not to have a boss uh, like a health bar for the boss like we do not know how much more of this there is okay oh just like just like go as hard as possible wow they take a lot of hits You know what? Let's try something different. I think that this guy does a bit more damage. Nah, uh, we're not going to try anything different. We're going to do what works. I'm just seeing if maybe that does something. Oh God, if I take one more hit, I'm dead. Yo, can you die though? Oh no. Ugh. I need you to die. Yes. Fake blocks. Okay, we, we missed five fake blocks. We missed three secrets. But I did it in 20 minutes. I they would they expect me to do that in less than seven minutes the, I think the boss themselves took me seven minutes So I mean, I guess what you're gonna want to do is like get through the entire stage as quickly as possible but also maintain a uh, Level three wand. That's really tricky. I don't know. I don't know if I would ever be good enough to do that to be to be honest um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, there's there's you can see how much game there is here There's uh, five. Well, I guess actually technically there's seven stages um, Because I've I've done two. This is like the first I guess tutorial stage and then you've got um, Six like genuine stages uh, And then you looks like you've got a, a boss door and I mean this game's like $15 Canadian. Let me just double check that Yeah, 15 Canadian I think that uh, it, the, they are generally speaking not as on the nose as that, so I have a feeling the devs are Canadian. But um, I think this game is cute as a button, and I think that uh, if you're looking for some old school platforming, that this is going to uh, scratch your itch for sure. Um, but yeah, check it out. This is Rava uh, and the Phantom Library. It's uh, the sequel to the original. What was the original one called? Let me just have a look. Rava and the Cyclops curse and that one's three dollars and forty cents So like yeah, if you're looking for something probably I think this would make a good steam deck game um, but if you're looking for something to to show your uh, son or daughter or uh, You know kid uh, what kind of game you used to play as, as a you know as a child Then I think that this would be a perfect candidate. It's uh, wholesome as hell I'll see you guys next time. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. Take it easy.